welcome back to my channel so today I have got a lot of cleaning to do if you missed it I actually did half or part of the house first um, I'm doing a big deep clean and today is going to be the second half of the house and I would say probably the larger part of the house so if you missed the first video I will leave the link in the description box so you can go catch that so basically just going through the house disinfecting everything we've had some sickness in the last month or so and I just want to give the house a really really good clean another thing I'm gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to make a self purifying mask and you can do it right at home um, it's really really simple and I will be explaining all of that after a while also I clean with something called Norwex cloth and I do my own DIY cleaners and at the end of this video I will go through the science of how Norwex removes 99% of bacteria from your surfaces. Where I ended in my last video was in the living room. I kind of have it all cleaned up and I had already done the dusting so now I'm going to hit the walls and vacuum. I also had cleaned out the couch. I'm probably going to do the other couch today. I'm just taking the cushions off and vacuuming all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So like you saw in the first video, I'm dusting down the walls with my dry pad with my Norwex mop. And the way that the dry dusting part works with Norwex is you actually just rub it up against your clothes. Or if you have two, they make a dusting mitt. So if you have two dusting mitts, you can actually rub them together and it gets static electricity on it and it helps to pick up all the dust and make it cling to it and not float around. We live in North Carolina and right now it is pollen season and so there is pollen everywhere and that's part of what I was collecting off of the walls. The other thing too, when you go to clean your dry mop, you have a little rubber brush that comes with the mop and that dusts off the dust into the trash can. All right, here is the dusting mitt and you see I rub it against my shirt and go to dusting. I pause super quick to whip up some fast lunch for the girls. Whenever I'm doing a lot of cleaning, I normally do something super simple. So I know this is not the healthiest meal ever, but sometimes mom's gotta do what mom's gotta do. So I got nuggets, applesauce with a lot of cinnamon. They love cinnamon. I have some over here in the shaker. And then just some nuts and raisins. And then this is the ketchup I like to use. It has a little less sugar in it. Um, than normal ketchup or actually a lot less sugar than normal ketchup so this is what they are having as a quick lunch while I clean I do a load of laundry every day so this was my load for this day I wanted to get it folded and all put away because I wanted to wash our bedding next this does not happen often enough I wash our sheets a lot but just watching the duvet cover and all the pillow covers everything um, does not happen as much as I'd like it to but I wanted to tackle it this day Crazy.
And then I take it out into the living room and lay it out and just spray stain remover on the places that need it. I am working on making my own stain remover. I just haven't had the spray bottle arrive from Amazon yet. I'm just putting some essential oils on my Norwex dryer balls, throwing them in the dryer. They make my clothes smell so good and I love that it's all natural and it's not added chemicals. All right, now I'm using my Enviro cloth to wipe down the glass mirror, and then I use my window cloth. If you guys remember in my last video, when I did the first half of the house, I actually put butter all over my mirror in my dining room just to show you how well it cleans up grease and cleans glass. Also, the dusting mitt is so amazing for cleaning window blinds. It does it so quickly, and whenever it gets a little bit warmer and we're outside a little more, I probably will take down my screens and I just make the dusting mitt damp and then I go over my screens and it's amazing how good it cleans the screens. I love this little diffuser. It's actually in my Amazon shop, which is where you can find a lot of links for things around my house. But it is so cute and it actually makes our entire room filled with fragrance. All right, so I am sitting down to take a break from cleaning and while I'm taking a little break, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to make a self purifying mask. So if you guys have never heard me talk about Norwex before, basically this cloth has threads in it that are one two hundredth of a hair whereas like traditional cloths would move and push around bacteria and dirt these cloths actually pick it up and don't let go of it until you rinse it out or launder it the second part to norwex is that it has got micro silver embedded in it and micro silver if you don't know anything about it um, colloidal silver is actually used in emergency rooms on burn victims because it kills bacteria so well. To activate the silver, you do have to make the cloth wet. 
So I'm going to show you how you can make a mask out of this. Obviously, this would be a big step up from traditional masks just because of all of those qualities. And then when you are finished wearing this mask, so say you wear it to the grocery store and you come home, you definitely want to make it wet, wash it under warm water, wring it out, and then hang it up to dry. Because as it dries, that silver goes to work eating any leftover bacteria that would be left in the cloth. One more added thing. Normal Norwex makes a couple different types of cloths and the one that I use a lot, you guys see me clean with, is called an Enviro cloth. This is actually called a window cloth and it pretty much polishes. You see me when I wipe down a mirror or a window, you'll see me use the Enviro cloth, then use this cloth. So this is a little bit lighter weight than the Enviro cloth and it wouldn't, I mean, if you use the Enviro cloth, it would be very big and bulky on your face, but this is a perfect weight. So you'll just take your window cloth, Lay it down flat like this. You're gonna fold it about halfway up the cloth. Then you're gonna fold the other side about halfway as well and you're going to want to overlap. I'm gonna hold this up a second here so you can see. So this is pretty much what it looks like. Flip it over and do the same action. So you're just gonna fold it up one time and then fold the other side over just overlapping. Then you're gonna take two hair ties you're going to put that over each end. You're going to take each side, and you could adjust this for a child depending on how big your face is, so you can slide the bands in. But you'll fold this part over. The, the bands that are sticking out like this, you can put actually around your ears. Just like that, and you can like play with it and adjust it. So then you'll take this top part, fold it down, um, under your chin, flip the other part up, and there you have it, a perfect mask. The great part about these is that they do clean themselves, and you don't have to worry about anything that might have gotten on the cloth while you were wearing it. Pop these off, you would go ahead and rinse it out. There is a link in the description box to order these cloths. Also, if you wait till the end of the video, I will show you guys how I take a blue light, and you can actually see Norwex go to work removing the bacteria that's on surfaces. Okay, the girls are down for their naps, and while I'm waiting for my bedding to get done in the washer and dryer, um, I'm actually gonna clean here in the bathroom and the tub is a pretty big mess because um, the girls had had those blocks in the tub which was fine I gave it to them but then today they were out in the backyard and they came in here like kind of with wet feet and whatever and climbed in the tub to try to get some blocks out so there's like muddy footprints in the bottom of the tub <laughs> it's it's a pretty bad situation. So that needs to be scrubbed really well. And then obviously the rest of this needs to be cleaned up. If you order from Norwex between now and April 15th, your name will get put in a drawing for a Norwex mop. I'm giving one away and it's actually the larger size. It's a little bigger than the mop that I have. I like mine because I have smaller spaces, but this would be an awesome mop for hardwood floors. At the end of this video, I do show you the mop and what I'm giving away. This is my tub scrub, and I actually feel like this is a really effective spray. I get all of my labels from Bella Design Co. I'll leave her link in the description box. She has awesome labels that are so pretty for your bottles and things. So for the tub scrub, you need a cup of water, two teaspoons of Norwex laundry detergent, and then I used some lime oil and some peppermint oil. Peppermint lime is such a great scent combination when it comes to cleaning. Next, I grabbed my Norwex paste and went ahead and scrubbed out the bottom of the tub. In my last cleaning video, you guys saw me do this in the bottom of my oven. It does such a good job. You can even clean shoes with this.
These are my toilet bombs. And when I shared on Instagram that I was making these, you all wanted the recipe. So here goes. It is a laundry detergent booster from Arm & Hammer, a cup of that, a half a cup of citric acid, and then about 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. I went with lemongrass, then a fourth of a teaspoon of vinegar, and a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. I actually ended up making two batches of this to spray into the powdered mixture. You just want it to be damp enough that you can pack it together. Once you can pack it and drop it, you know it's ready to go. I let these sit in the molds overnight and it made perfect bombs. Another thing that I do is I only use my pink Norwex claws for the toilet. It might sound funny, but if you think of stinky pinky, that is a good way to keep in mind which cloths go where. I haven't quite gotten everything else figured out as far as the other colors I want for different places in my house, but that's one that's definitely stuck. Next, I got our sheets into the washer so that all of our bedding was completely done this day. I went ahead and got the next load of laundry I would have normally done the next day done because I wanted to get all of that bedding through. So that's the dusting wand. And the really great thing is all of this stuff is interchangeable. So I just stuck it on the end of my mop and bent it so that I could clean the fan. It's the next day and I actually like put the whole bed back together last night before we went to bed. So I just need to vacuum in here and then I'm gonna head to the girls rooms which are kind of a mess. I really need to pick up a lot of toys and stuff in there but this duvet cover is not totally on right but I got so tired of wrestling with it and trying to get it, um, get the comforter <laughs> the right way inside of there. So anyways, I'm gonna vacuum in here and then move to the girls bathroom and their bedrooms. If you guys caught my last decorating video, I did this wall and the one in Hazley's room, just kind of getting the girls' rooms look a little more put together. And 
hi Leah. She's always wanting to help me clean right now. So she came in and helped pick up the toys. Usually we have Betty's bedding on this bed, but right now I'm actually potty training Hazley. So this pink sheet is in my Amazon shop. It's waterproof and it's worked so well. We've had some accidents and I just throw it in the washer and it protects her mattress. She looked glad to see me again. Do you remember when I used to come over to your house every day? Okay, so this is the wet mop pad for the mop and I just put a few drops of essential oils on it to make it smell good after I made it wet to mop. In case you missed my last video, here is a quick reminder of how Norwex works under blue light. You guys have been asking a lot of questions about these. If they really work, do they work effectively? Those sorts of things. I'm going to do a little test here with a cleaner that we all know and use, wipes, and then also the Norwex cloth. Okay, I'm gonna take this chicken, smear it all over the top of this. Oh my goodness, it smells so terrible. Next, I'm gonna take my blue light over this so you can see where the chicken juice was smeared. And then I'm gonna take the cleaner that most of us use, spray it over the top of this. And of course, one thing that you do have to keep in mind is most cleaners, you have to leave them sit for 10 minutes. To truly do that, you have to soak down the entire surface and then continually re-soak it, which I don't think many of us do. I know I don't whenever I use wipes and cleaners and things like that. Um, I'm not coming through and continuously making it wet. And unfortunately, what this does is um, it dries and gets all dried up with that stuff way, way before 10 minutes is up. So, oh, I got a little more cleaner up here. Make sure that it's wiped up good and then we'll do the bottom. So I'm gonna set my wipe over here and take my Norwex cloth and wipe the bottom half, making sure that I get all of that chicken and nastiness all of it wiped up. All right, I'm gonna grab my blue light here and as you can see, it's already drying. So it's only been like two minutes and um, you can see that there is so much left behind, so much. And down here, we've got nothing but scratches on my stovetop. <laughs> I'll go over it really well so you guys can see that there really isn't anything left. And up here, lots of scary, scary stuff left behind. Now the worst part about it is, is cross-contamination. So there's times that we wipe something up like that and say that my daughter puts a little bit of her snack on the counter and as I walk by to throw this in the trash can, I just wipe that up on the counter. So let's go ahead and put this down here where we were all cleaned up. 
and uh, there you go. It put the chicken juice back on the bottom part where I had it all clean. Oh. So I'm gonna go over all of this one last time with the Norwex cloth so you guys can see. And there you have it all gone so like i said if you order between now and april 15th you will be put in a drawing for this mop i am slightly jealous because i so prefer the rose gold color of this one over the one i have but i like the smaller size this is the large mop um and i have the smaller mop just because my spaces are smaller that i'm mopping um but if you have hardwood floors or anything you will love this so this is the wet mop pad this is the dry one which I was using on the walls and then obviously this is the bottom part of it and here is the way that the handle looks and everything and then there will also be another mop pad sent with it it just didn't come in the mail yet and it's for tile floors it's just a little bit um, more abrasive and so you can scrub your tile floors and just remember if it's after April 15th and you didn't get an order in check my most recent video because more than likely I have another giveaway going on Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that this motivated you to get up and get some deep cleaning done. I know that it motivated me to film it. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. I do lots of motivating videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.